Greetings and welcome back to Star Drive 2. So we got this Opterius fleet that is going towards this planet. I'm trying to intercept them. And afterwards, I think I might actually be able to get peace with them because I just checked and... They uh, would almost want a peace treaty. So that could be interesting. But the problem is that just uh, after the peace is gone, they will probably just declare war again. So that's kind of a problem. Yeah, in the meantime, it seems like the Kulrati are fighting against the Vulfar, so that's good. And, uh, something that kind of bothers me is the fact that the Polops are very aggressive towards me because of all my expansionism. But the odd thing is that they don't even declare war on anyone else. Despite the fact that all of those guys are apparently colonizing worlds and all that sort of stuff, so that's odd. I guess it's because the AI doesn't really care about other AI in a, that sort of sense, so let's continue. I wonder if we can catch them, but it's costing me uh, buckets of money. And also this uh, alpha belt is now undefended. And I saw something else, I just confirm, uh, build, let's get the rover bay going. And we'll get Star Race and a automated factory. Something like this. And what else we need? Burial Bank afterwards and Research Lab, Supercomputer, Infantry Base. Okay, something like that. Uh, I guess we could ship someone over there to help build everything. Although we are... We don't have enough food. Wait a minute, what's this guy doing? Oh crap, that's gonna be bad. But, um... Yeah, we don't have enough food, so I might move someone over here. Like this, that'll work. Okay, let's continue. And he's going... That way, actually. It's gonna colonize something in polyp space. I'm fine with that. <laughs> if they can... Uh... Oh, and we got another fleet over here. That's yeah, going towards... Uh, the blade belt. I think I should be fine. They have... One, two, three, four... I lost count. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. They have seven cruisers, a whole bunch of troop transports, and a bunch of small ships. So seven cruisers against six. Two bombers. I think we should be fine, especially combined with the star base. Uh, just uh, for safety measures. Taking a look, most of them seem to be fighters. Similar to the one that we destroyed earlier, so we should be fine, I hope. Um, yeah, this one will let... Yeah, we'll let them go to the polyp space. Maybe they'll uh, get in war with each other, that would be kind of nice. Unless they have open borders, hopefully not. Uh, oh, that's odd. Where did my fleet go? Um... Why aren't they chasing anymore? Well, that's just bad. I might need to fight this one with just what I have. Okay, this could be bad, but... We'll fight back. And what's all of this crap? Okay, never mind. Right, let's continue. Yeah, and let's fight this one. We'll see how it goes. I guess I should have moved maybe a few troops to that planet. Because we did see that they wanted to take it earlier on. Now, one thing that I worry about is missiles. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. So, these ones are the ones that I want to destroy early on because they do have missiles. They'll probably stay in the back. So, I'm going to move my cruiser this way 
to try and destroy those guys as fast as I can. The cruiser does have ECM. Uh, the star base is going to be kind of on its own against all of this. Uh, let's begin. Let's see. Star base is shooting. That guy is very slow. But they aren't really that much of a threat. Let's pause for a moment. They have... What exactly? A bunch of lasers and a few rockets. Yeah, we should be fine. I need to take out these ones with the missiles. Let's wait until they shoot. Alright, let's go. That's way too much missiles. I hate missiles. They are way too powerful. Look at that. My ship is totally getting whacked. Oh crap. I forgot to put him in frontal mode. Yeah, my ship is gonna go down. Just look at that. The whole missile spam thing. It's just absolutely terrible. Because it pretty much forces you to go for shields. I didn't even get a shot off. Despite having ECM and all that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, I think my ship is down and my starbase is about to go down soon-ish, I guess. Well, that's uh, sort of some of the stuff that I don't like about the game. Totally unbalanced weapons. don't even think I killed anything. So next up we'll have the ground combat I suppose. I don't even know if I upgraded my guys on the ground. I hope I did. Give them some rail rifles and all that sort of stuff but not entirely sure. Uh, what have we got? Okay I did upgrade them. That's a good thing. Let's fight this. Perhaps we can still win and then my other fleet can intercept the their fleet. Now could I see what they are made of? They are just very very basic. So I still stand a chance. Pretty much all I can do is just wait until they arrive. I do have a decent range. Most. All right, I think some of them are in range now. Uh, let's take a look. Did he miss? That's terrible. Okay, this isn't going to go well. How are those things taking so much damage? How much HP does this thing have? Hit points 20. How does this only do so little damage? Okay, I'm screwed. <laughs> wow. It's also one of the things that I really hate about Forex games. Is that it's a whole, I don't know, exponential progress. Everything gets totally overpowered when you get further on into the game. Can't even shoot anything with this guy. Yeah, we're screwed. Well, I guess I can hit multiple targets, but that isn't really gonna help me all that much. Didn't want to do that. Oh boy. Oh 
okay. So, um, let's shoot with this guy first because it's pretty much all he can do. Okay, we got this guy, you shoot. Um, like that, and I'm not sure if it's worth it to use a medkit. It does heal 20 points. Okay, that's better than nothing. And we got this guy who could shoot or use a medkit. Let's shoot with him first. Um. Okay, now shoot or heal. Let's go with heal. Okay, no one's dead yet. This will be the turn where I utterly die. Yeah. Not think much I can do against all of this. They seem to have a lot of defense against all of this. I'm only doing 5 damage, which is not enough. one down and that'll be the end of this round well I guess I still have one that is alive uh, let's shoot this guy all right another one down hmm. well okay I guess I should have gone for peace while I could so now I gotta go destroy their fleet I don't have any ground troops so that's not good if only the polyps would like declare war on the Opteris because they are expanding. But uh, unfortunately the AI is totally biased when it comes to all that sort of stuff. Now, I'm probably going to take back this planet and then they will start complaining that I expand. Or not. Ugh. Oh, alright. Well, let's go and destroy this fleet while we can. And then we need... What else do we need? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, we got this fleet on the way as well. That'll be interesting. Yeah, let's just continue and fight this one out. Normally we should be able to destroy their fleet now. Although they still have a whole bunch of missiles that they can spam. But this time I do have a lot more cruisers. I'll put the bombers in the back. Uh, we don't have any corvettes with us. go. Um, probably gonna get hit hard by all those damn missiles. Let's just start. Yeah, there they go. Oh, let's move these ships this way. Let's move these ones this way. Nothing much else I can do. Let's put them to forward. We should have ECM missiles. So, uh, ECM jammers. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff jammed. Now, one of those frigates is probably gonna die. Yes, they will. Okay, I guess we won. 
uh, well, uh, are winning. Hopefully I don't lose any cruisers. I think they're fine. Unfortunately, I don't have any ground troops to take back the planet. Alright, there we go. So that worked. What did we lose? Um, two frigates, it seems. Alright. So yeah, um, ship battles is totally fine, but ground battles are totally bad. And now we got this fight, and uh, this will be something else. <laughs> we do have a small star base, but... Alright. Well, we should be able to win this. Uh, let's see, this is... These are the cruisers, apparently. Uh, the bombers, let's put these in the back. Let's try and attack from this flank with the ships. And we got a frigate, and we got uh, two corvettes, which I might use as a distraction on this flank. Oh, we got some more corvettes back there. Okay, that's fine. Then I'm gonna just move them this way. That should work. Let's begin. We're gonna see a whole bunch of missile spam, or not. Let's move the corvettes this way. Oh yeah, and I forgot to put them all into forward mode. Alright, let's continue. Alright, so we diverted some of their missiles, that's good. Though I guess all my cruisers do have ECM, so they should actually be reasonably fine. Actually, they are getting hit badly now. Let's move in. sure where my corvettes are. Should be chewing through their ships now. Yes we do. That's about it. They might have some fighters left. Nope, that's it. Alright, good. Oh yeah, as I mentioned, the ship battles are easy. At least at this point. Still, uh, these two guys, Rayleigh really and Opterius, aren't really the main threat when it comes to ship battles. It's the polyps that I need to watch out for because they do have battleships and all that sort of stuff. Oh, now they want peace. Uh, but you took my planet. No. I want to take my planet back first. In the meantime, I'm losing a ton of money. Hmm. What's this? Oh yeah, their uh, ground troops are running away. Perhaps I can ask the planet back. Uh, let's see. Uh, crap, which one is it? It's uh, Almir. I actually doubt they will, but I can only try. No, they won't. That's just insane. The cost that they put on things, and if we compare it to my stuff... Well, actually no. They are also very expensive. But still, I want my planet back, so... No peace yet. I'll need to move in some ground troops, but the problem is that I won't be able to really do much here. I might just bomb the planet. I do have, well, one bomber, I suppose. So that's what I'm gonna do. I will be way over my command point limit, but that's pretty much all I can do. I might move back part of my fleet. Uh, bombard. 
bombard the ground troops. Yes. Uh, okay. Oh, go away. Uh, now, what are these guys gonna do? They're gonna attack again with all their troop transports. That's not really gonna work. That's a lot of troops, I must say. Alright. We need to build something back here, I guess. Let's get the planetary supercomputer. And we're losing a lot of money. So I think... Wait a minute, what's this guy gonna do? He's gonna come my way. Well, that's not gonna work. Let's send my cruiser after him. Actually, no. Let's let the cruiser stay at the capital. I'm just gonna send off part of my fleet. Uh, I guess the cruisers can go. And a few frigates. Like that. Alright. Let's get these to intercept that colony ship. The rest can stay because my bomber is right there. We now have another supercomputer. That means we have a lot more research, which is good. Uh, we gotta build something back here, it seems. Or maybe not. No, I didn't need to build anything here. Let's keep it with uh, trade goods. It'll give us more money. And the blade belt. We're gonna need something else. Oh yeah, that reminds me. We did lose two command points because we lost that planet. Uh, so we are building Starbase here. I'm gonna rush this one. I think it'll pay off eventually. We got the Rover Bay. Let's rush this one as well. Wait a minute, who is... Oh yeah, this is the Governor. Alright. Okay, that guy is dead. Now let's move this fleet back to the Alpha Belt. In the meantime, we are still bombing these guys. Let's see. I wonder if it actually did anything. Let's continue. Uh, right, well, taking back that planet is going to be pretty difficult because my ground forces apparently are absolutely terrible against theirs. They seem to have a lot of defenses, so that's bad. Oh crap, they got another fleet. Uh, luckily, actually, my small fleet intercepted them. They're all corvettes, it seems. So let's fight it out. That was kind of odd. That's going to be interesting. They're all armed with... Uh, small things <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna go have to fly through and hopefully destroy them all let's put them into forward facing then we'll uh, set the frigates behind them and let's uh, begin let's see what they do Right, let's move out. Get this one to shoot that one, that one, that one, and that one. Come on. It shouldn't last long. That's it. Good. Oh, 
Oh crap. What's this now? More ships. Alright, well let's intercept these as well. And what's this? Merchant fleet. Well, it's gonna run into the blockade so that's not really gonna work. Okay, let's continue. And let's fight this one now. We should be able to uh, destroy those cruisers pretty fast. I guess they had one frigate or something. One cruiser. It's Corvette. And this ship is very slow for some reason. No idea why. Oh, it's a, it's a frigate one. Okay, that explains. Now again with the missile spam. Hopefully at least a bunch of them got jammed. actually do a lot of damage I must say. At least uh, combined. Or well, maybe not. And this frigate one is very very slow. So I can only be very glad that I have fusion engines on the other ones. Seems to be very difficult to hit the fighters. Gotta get some lucky shots I suppose. Because most of my ships are a decent level. So they should have decent accuracy. What's going on here? Uh, they're still trying to destroy the fighters. Let's move closer. Those fighters are gonna follow anyway, so... Then we have some combined firepower perhaps. Otherwise this is gonna take ages. Okay, I think they killed their fighters. Now these ones shouldn't take too long. It's incredible how much they seem to be able to dodge everything. Well, we're almost there. Okay, I guess that was it. In the meantime, frigate number one uh, actually managed to get into the fight, but uh, a little too late. So these guys do got a whole bunch of met uh, medals. So that's a nice thing, I suppose. But still, it's not going to help them against the whole missile spam that we saw earlier. Luckily, that was a small fleet. If they have a big fleet equipped with all missiles, then we'd pretty much be screwed, I think. Because most of my ships do need to go into, well, into close combat. So let's now move these guys to the alpha belt. Hopefully they can uh, repair everything. Okay. Alright, well anyway, I guess I'll be ending this episode right here. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.